gloved up. You're feeling a little nervous now? It doesn't seem that nervous at all. Uh, so we're talking Tim Zhu now. He is the man at 154 pounds. Now that Charlo is out of the picture. And what I like about Tim Zhu, I think he's relentless, number one. I think he's a, a finisher. When he smells blood in the water, he goes for it in the... Above all, I believe that Tim Zhu has a great diversification of his punch output, and uh, that's what I've been noticing in his last fight, especially against Brian Mendoza. Yeah, I mean, he, like you said, relentless is a great word. He's, he's a relentless pressure fighter, but he does it with some IQ as well. He's got fast hands. Um, when he's at his best, he's utilizing his jab to set up the power shots. That's actually a pretty good body puncher too, which if you're gonna be a, a guy who's gonna be staying on top of his guys and put that kind of pressure, you need to hit the body as well. And he's a good finisher, like you said. When he, when he smells blood in the water, man, he goes for it, which makes him that much more entertaining. But uh, yeah, let's go over some of the things that he does well. So Tim Zhu, and I'd mentioned that he's very relentless, puts a lot of pressure. You know, he comes by on a high guard. He's, he's physically strong. So a lot of times he's able to back guys up just with his physical pressure, which also puts a lot of mental pressure on his opponents. When he's at his best, he's actually firing a very sharp jab. That it's a no-tell jab. He doesn't want. He doesn't load up. He just gets there. So he goes right from his stance. A lot of times he he put he's putting that physical pressure on guys. He's walking them down, and then just as he gets to that middle distance range, bang! He's sticking that jab, sticking that jab, and then once he's inside, he rips through his combinations, which he does really well, especially when guys are on the ropes. Another thing that he does really well is the right uppercut. Watch out for that thing there. That's his bread and butter. That's his bread and butter. With all that physical pressure, and especially when he's got those quick hands, it gets guys thinking. It gets guys thinking. It gets guys to start start covering up and put on those those earmuffs. That's a perfect position for Zoo to use that jab from that mid distance and then rip that right uppercut, which is one of his best shots. We saw him throw multiples against Tony Harrison along the ropes. I mean, bang, bang, bang. He's got a very diverse right hand. And then a lot of times, as guys start to evade him from all that physical pressure, he'll actually step through with his right leg. I don't see a lot of guys doing this. And he throws a big, wide, uh, looping right hook, or it's like, a, it's like a hook uppercut hybrid, where he cuts guys off as they're trying to evade him. Good pressure fighters know how to cut off the ring. Good pressure, bot, good pressure fighters hit the body. And great pressure fighters use their jab. Another thing that Zhu does really, really well that I like technically is that he's got a nice pull counter, which reminds me a lot of his dad, Kostya. Well, Kostya's first of all, he looks exactly like Well, yeah, he's a bigger, taller image. version. You know, he's, he's 14 pounds heavier, but, you know, uh, his father was very good at, at just just staying outside there. You know, that, that, that Eastern block, you know, style where he's able to step out, boom, and come right back in with a nice, strong counter. Zhu is kind of adopted that, but taking it into his own, make it a little more athletic, because I think Tim is a little bit more athletic than, than Kostya was. But So he has that nice pull counter. Well, he'll be right in front of you. He's putting all that pressure on you, all that pressure on you. You think he's coming nonstop. And then when guys go to counter, he does a quick pullback, and then bang, comes back, especially with his right hand, because he does have an excellent right hand. So he does that nice pull counter to make guys think that he's there to get hit, but in reality, he can just pull right back and, and come back with his power shot. So that does two things. One, it makes the guy miss, but two, it also loads up the power on that right hand, so when he comes back, he's got momentum and more power behind that. The thing with Zhu also, I feel like, over the last couple of years is the maturation process. This is a guy that, a few years ago, where it looked like he wasn't a, a complete fighter yet, but over the last couple of years, I feel like he's just added more elements to his game to the point where I think he is the guy. What have you seen from Zhu over the last couple of fights that made him look more like a complete fighter? Well, I think it's twofold. I remember going through this with my career as well. One is just realizing how good you are. Getting in there, getting in there with, with better and better opposition, and performing the way that, that you, you foresee in your, in, in your mind's eye. But then also, I think it's his dedication to the sport. Even for this fight, he moved out to Vegas months before the fight. That's, that tells me that he's willing to put himself in uncomfortable positions, and that's what champions do.